Okay. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do? We're going to. Oh, I was actually gonna teleport to the pool down there, but that would mean it would be annoying to actually get back. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna eat some carrots. They're good for you. It'd be cool if they improved your eyesight, like the legend. Oh wow, well, that would be really weird. Ah, okay. <clears throat> now look at the windmill. <clears throat> look at the bird. Now uh, from here, it doesn't actually matter. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter at all because I won't be able to teleport there anyway. <clears throat> once the portal has been created. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the scaffolding, but we're going to grab the well. That's what we're going to do, because all the lava at the bottom has been mined out. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's mine this up, because we want to cover the bottom here, just in case it falls out. There we are. Now we use the electrical wrench to grab that. Or at least try and grab it. I guess the electrical wrench won't pick this up. Maybe it's because it's in use. Maybe you can just mine this up then. Yep, you can. That's one thing that you can mine up. Okay. We didn't need it at the end, but it's, it's good that we actually got it anyway. Now, we need to actually go up this uh, waterproof piping. Ooh, what was that? <clears throat> I thought I heard a creeper about to blow. And we're going to collect these tubes as well. Because we're going to need them for the special room. Let's collect as much lava as we possibly can with these cells. And they do stack, which is good. And it looks like we get rid of quite a significant amount. Will it be enough though? Yeah, it will be enough. It will be enough. We've still got another 64 to fill up. There we are. Take it all up. There we go. There's one way Easy way to transport it than what we were previously going to do, which would have just taken hours. <clears throat> it would have been cooler, yeah, but it would have taken hours. Now we're going to leave all this here, just to, s just to show that we've already used this. We should actually make a sign if I kept the wood. We'll quickly go chop some wood down. <clears throat> and, uh... <clears throat> I think a minute ago I said I didn't need the axe. Yeah, oh wow. Keeps changing make some sticks and we actually make, need to make a quick cut crafting table going back to the old times and we'll throw the wood away oh we know we need the wood still in fact we need to chop off another piece there we are and we'll make the sign three signs actually and we'll just chop that up <coughs> we won't need that and we'll put a sign up here just saying out of order. Or, um. <coughs> uh. What would we say? I guess just out of order. I'm sure there's a better way of saying it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm sure there's a better way of saying it. <coughs> well, like diminished stockpile. <coughs> but oh well. We're back home now. I was going to experience that really irritating bug just then. Why does this keep happening? Very strange. I think it's because it's right next to the pressure plates. <clears throat> but there we go. We have our lava cells and we have all of the tanks. In fact, what we should do is uh, make some more glass with the sand. And we want to replace something better than that. Okay, we'll just put some of the uh, materials that we're not going to use anymore in here. Including the redstone. Yep, there we are. <coughs> we'll take the sand. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll turn it into glass. Yeah, let's just put the half of sand in there. Half of that sand in there. <coughs> and while it's being turned into glass, let's pick all this up. There we are. Now, uh, this actually... This we'll keep there. This we need to take. And we need to take all of the gold cable. <coughs> awesome. And now we'll just quickly stockpile some things that, like the rubber here, this lever. Actually, we might need the lever for this sterling engine. 
<clears throat> Damn. Keeps changing around, doesn't it? This cobblestone waterproof pipe we're going to need it for as well. Let's make our way down. Oh, crap. More hostiles. I wonder. Yeah, probably not the best use of energy, is it? No, I bet I just wasted so much energy trying to kill a creeper. Always a creeper. Always a bloody creeper. Now this just, uh, this doesn't look good at all, but I guess I could go in mine. Just get some more materials. <clears throat> but for now, what we're going to do is pop these tanks here. Two. Uh, there we are. And then I think I might be able to put the lava back in them. Yeah, I can. Okay. So, maybe we should probably make it easier for ourselves and not actually have any of them trapped in. And we should just have the tanks sort of around here. And then we can have the geothermals in the middle. And then they can go to the MFE. <clears throat> and then the MFE can spread around and <clears throat> do its job, pretty much. Because this is the geothermal facility. If we... You know, I think we'll have a bunch of power facilities, maybe. And they are all can generate energy, which will connect into special areas and a lot. <clears throat> but for now, I think it might be a good idea to have this just be this storage facility. <coughs> where we just put all our lava in that lot. And water, stuff like that. It looks like we keep losing it. Like, we lose empty cells sometimes. I swear we had a lot more than this. There we go. Not all full, but we do have some tanks left. Oh, okay. I've done that twice somehow. Like jetpack. There we are. One, two, two. There we are. Fantastic. Now we've moved the lava here. We should put the geothermal down. About... Where is the geothermal? I got the pump. Generator. Damn, it's become a generator! This is such a slim chance for it to become a generator, and I keep pulling the short straw. <coughs> okay. I hate that mechanic. It's a silly mechanic. Looks like we're gonna have to make another geothermal generator. Oh. I hate zombies. <coughs> Don't know why I would like zombies, but okay. Oh, wow, this... Ugh. <sighs> Mechanic, it's, it's just a dumb mechanic. I don't know why it's here. Wastes time, but okay. Uh, geo thermal generator. I guess we have the generator. All we need is some empty cells, which we have. Some refined iron, which we have. And some glass, which we have. It's alright. <coughs> I guess somewhere in my brain I must have realized it's geothermal, which is why I wanted to make the glass. <coughs> refined iron we have somewhere lying around. Need some more of the refined iron, actually. Need to go on another expedition when we have the levels. We should go out and actually get some more levels in a uh, thingamajig. We, make more s we can make some more tanks if we wish to, which means we'll have to pump up a lot more lava. I feel like in that mine, we might be able to find a giant pile of lava. <coughs> or in that huge mine, or huge mine, where that massive pool of lava is. We could pump that out, and then we could just transfer using empty cells. Which I think will be a pretty good idea. So we have glass. Uh, leave a stack in here, actually. <coughs> and now we need to find out how to make this again. Some refined iron, that's what I'm missing. I keep forgetting about something, don't I? There we are. So generator, uh, bottom two, refined iron, refined iron, glass, empty cells. Okay, so empty cell, generator, glass, and fine iron. At least it's not annoying to make, but I have to wonder how annoying it's going to be when you create something that requires just that little bit more effort and it's just that little bit more expensive. And then it breaks because you pick it up with something <coughs> that has a like a 20% a like a chance of it not picking it up and becoming broken or something. I lost my train of thought there, okay? It's normal. It's normal with my brain, and when I'm ill, it's even worse. At least it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. <coughs> oh, man. I don't really want to put this anywhere. It's going to be bad now. 
Hmm. I guess because we're leaving at the wall here, we should probably put it here. There we are. That that's a thing. Okay, now the energy can come out the uh, cable here into the MFE, which I guess can be here. But I feel like the power is going to be so great, we can have a bunch of these MFEs. <coughs> so, you know, maybe we'll put one here. Yeah. And I guess this is where the plug is, so... I want to change where the plug is. Oh, no, no, I think it accepts power everywhere, but where the plug is, I cannot remember. Damn it, picked it up. I don't want to pick it up. I guess it can only flip it when it's uh, in the plug side. Okay, and I guess that's okay. I can't remember, though. There we are. And now we need to get the Stirling engine. <clears throat> but actually, we don't need the Stirling engine. Wait, do we? To actually work the geothermal generator. I can't remember why we needed a Stirling engine, actually. <laughs> Something tells me it was for the geothermal generator, but then another part of me says it was just a dumb thing to do. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Forget about it for now. <laughs> Screw it. Anyway. We shall get the waterproof piping from... Oh, wow, it's not going to be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! I guess for now it's just going to be like this. <clears throat> there we go. Or, like that. And then, or even better, like that. Yeah, that's better. Although we will not be able to... One, two, three... Yeah. Nope. Not going to be able to come down from this, man, this one in the middle. <clears throat> which is a damn shame. What we could do is put them in a line, maybe. That would probably be a much better idea than uh, restricting the ones in the corners. But I feel like it's going to be around this l layer. <clears throat> yeah. But oh well. This is, a, this is a different power usage, okay? I feel like in the future we're going to have much more, much more powerful stuff like nuclear generators and stuff like that. <clears throat> nuclear reactors even. But we'll still have small conventional, I say conventional, but small power recovery uses. I, I can't find the word. Apologies. It's terrible with me. I've been forgetting words on just being bad. <clears throat> not amazingly entertaining? No. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Do you enjoy hearing the sound of a sick man? I'm just going to continue. So what we need... Oh, of course! I think what I need to do to actually pump out... Oh, no, no, because that was my solution was the redstone engine. Engine. Redstone engine. Because <clears throat> I don't think they explode. <laughs> I don't think they explode. Okay, that's where the distinction lies. <coughs> I hope they don't explode. <coughs> I think there's many theories, but I've, I've not seen a redstone engine explode before under being used for so long, but <clears throat> apparently we have some advanced alloy, I don't remember having. And I don't know what we were making it for. All oh, right, yeah, this mixed metal stuff. Oh, wait, no, this mixed metal stuff makes the advanced alloy. So what do we make with advanced alloy? MFFS projector. Okay, that's pretty interesting. We, it looks like we can play... What the hell is this? Superconductor cover? Using carbon plates. I feel like this is a tree we're going to go down eventually. <clears throat> Not now, though. Because what we need is a redstone engine. Now, we do have a piston, which is pretty good. And we do have some glass on us, right there. And 64 there, which I forgot to put away. We do have some wood in here. One, two, three. And we do need some wooden gears, which is made from sticks. Which we will create. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we can do it. 
There we are, fantastic. Put the wind sticks in here for now. And then... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll create this thing. There we are. Awesome. Now we have the redstone engine, and we do have a lever to actually power it. Now I'm using this to actually pump out the lava from the tubes into the thermal generator so that it can actually create energy for the MFE to hold. <clears throat> Takes a while to actually get here. Maybe we should have a little train track going down instead. Oh, no, it's a spider. Clear the road. Enemies. Back off, fiend. Whew, that was a close one. Almost died. Barely died at all, but you never know. You never know. I feel like something bad's going to happen. I feel like this is going to explode. <laughs> but we're, we're, I guess we're about to find out. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's, uh, let's pop this out. Let's put on this uh, redstone engine. It's not working. I guess it takes a while. Yeah, I guess we wait. And then it'll eventually turn itself on. Not too sure how it works. Maybe it's not in the right place. <clears throat> or maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm wrong in some way. Oh, the skeleton. Where's the bloody skeletons? He's got a powered bow of some kind, which I did pick up. A power one bow. Okay, then. <clears throat> Let's pick this up. Pick up this as well. The Stirling engine runoff. I think. Um, so why is this not working? I'll be right back. Ah, there we go. I forgot about the uh, the wooden prop pipe. It has to be wooden. There we go. Oh, look, it's on. I think. Lava's getting into it anyway. And uh, power's actually working. Okay, then. So this work first time, basically. <laughs> That's uh, pretty good. What the hell? Looks like uh, lava's actually filling up into that one. It's strange. <laughs> but okay, as long as it's taken in lava and actually using it, it'll come out of that one eventually. <coughs> that is a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> I have to make some more waterproof piping with the cacti. But I guess while that's happening, we should uh, get to farming. Or get some sort of farm work done. Uh, maybe in the later episodes, anyway. <clears throat> Next episode, probably, we'll get some nice farm work done. Some cool stuff. Be able to build up that farm. Maybe we'll actually start some beekeeping. That sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> that should, yeah, it sounds like we need to verge off into that era. Or, we need to do something a bit more magical. Maybe we'll build some sort of uh, wizard tower somewhere... Let's have a little look here around here. What's a good place for a wizard tower? We've got the farm right round here, and there's going to be a bunch of farm stuff all across this land here. We've got a town here, which will eventually look pretty cool. We're going to fix that up eventually. <clears throat> the wizard tower could be all the way over there, but we don't want it to be too far away. But we don't want it to be too close either, because it might, you know, wisps and shit might start appearing. So maybe the wizard tower right there sounds like a good idea. Because it looks like a nice flat area once we get rid of all the trees. And there's some blue tree there as well, so maybe maybe it's a sign. We'll make the wizard tower there. And I guess we'll have a portal going to it. Maybe. Sounds like a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Game of Peons and Feed the Beast. The ill version, I might add. Very ill. I think these videos are probably going to be released every two days as well. And be relatively short. Hopefully, I will stop being ill. <laughs> Which probably be a good idea. Hopefully. I can only hope, because then I'll be able to actually make some more videos without sounding nasally and getting really tired. <laughs> oh, God. And then forgetting and tripping over my words and walking left and right on top of my roof whilst talking about getting out of the video. Once again. And Merv, you're so angry. Oh, wow.
Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time.